I am happy to represent Justice Dhingra free of charge in any forum should he be harangued for contempt of court. One. Jay Sai Deepak, I want to ask you, Justice Dhingra is going to be harangued and I will perhaps be targeted and so will the channel. So I want to ask you, is there a case here for contempt? Let's ask that because, you know, let's nip it in the bud if it is. So let me first uh, uh, give people a clear picture of who Justice Dhingra is. He is one of the few members, gutsy members of the judiciary, when he was uh, still on the bench. He went ahead and passed judgments against rank criminals to grave peril to his life. And he was actually given security, additional security to protect himself. And he did not change his verdict. OK, so I don't think people need to worry about Justice Dhingra because I think he can defend himself and he knows exactly what he is doing. But should it come to, let's say that here I state on public record. I am happy to represent Justice Dhingra free of charge in any forum should he be harangued for contempt of court. Wonderful. And I say this without a degree of being facetious. I am as serious as I can get as a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so the point I'm trying to make is there is no, according to me, there is no case made out here because look, the people are entitled to draw their own inferences, especially with respect to two set of instances. In fact, I don't even think Zubair's case is comparable to Nupur Sharma's because I think Zubair's case is worse than Nupur Sharma's. Hmm. Okay. In such a situation, if he gets multiple hearings and assume for a moment that the court sticks to the mandate before it as far as what was the petition filed before the court by Zubair is concerned, the simple question that people are entitled to ask is what is missing here and what is it that Nupur has done which did not merit the same kind of clinical treatment within the bounds of the law? That's a question that people are entitled to ask and answer. If the contempt of courts act is going to be wielded in this fashion as the sword of Democles to even stifle people from raising questions with respect to the manner in which, let's say, certain orders are passed in comparable matters and, let's say, in worser matters, so to speak, then what remains of the Republic's right to hold the judiciary to account? You can't appoint. You don't have a say in appointing. You can't ask about assets. You can't criticize. Then what are we supposed to do? Surrender like the people before Reformation, uh, before the Catholic Church. Well, that led to the Reformation. <laughs> so all I would like to say is that it's important for everybody to realize that the higher you go in the in let's say in the ladder of power the responsibility on your part to actually take criticism comes along with it no other judiciary in a comparable jurisdiction in what we 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 call fashionably called civilized jurisdiction yes